All praises, all honor, all glory, Yahweh Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokhabodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone that rule well. In peace and salutation, to Allah Akim Dun, I'm pushing this word, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. Now, um, this video deals with, uh, you know, younger brothers coming up in the truth, you know, worrying about views, okay? Worrying about views and, you know, nobody's seeing their stuff and, you know, they may see other brothers, you know, that have been in the truth for a longer period of time and they might see more subscribers to their channel, okay? Well, the brothers who are subscribed to their channel, they're not subscribed there for entertainment. They're not there, you know, for a hangout, a good hangout session, okay? They're there, they're there to uh, learn, to eat, to be edified, you know, and to do the same for others, okay? So over the years, you know, the brothers would, would uh, you know, um, subscribe because the videos are very edifying, straight to the point, you know, and it gives them the ability or inspiration through the spirit, you know, to do a video themselves. So... You know, a lot of the times, younger brothers might look and say, hey, man, I ain't got no, I ain't got no viewers, like, you know, I put up a video, I put up two edifying videos and, you know, are very edifying videos and, you know, no views on that whole, uh, on that whole video, you know, but you shouldn't be worried about, you know, what man is looking at. You know, in the sense of um, my videos aren't being seen by, you know, people or whatever. Let's just say you put up 10 videos, okay? 20 videos. I don't care how much videos it is, actually. And, you know, you feel, oh, okay, I got one view on this one. Like, out of the 10 videos that I put up, I only got um, five views. And for the most part, it was like um, three videos out of the ten, you know, and the rest is your views. And it goes on and goes forth, or you know, throughout the year, throughout the months, like that. That's all right. You don't worry about nothing, man, because you know Yahweh Shimei Shai, He seeth your work. Okay, you don't gotta worry about you know oh. Uh, these people didn't see my video or I'm not getting major amount of views. You ain't got to worry about that, okay? You ain't got to worry about that outward appearance, okay? The Lord seeth your work, okay? And I'm pretty sure for a lot of those brothers who first started out, you know, within this truth, and they've been in the truth for like 9, 10 years, you know what I mean? 12 years, whatever it may be. I'm pretty sure in the beginning for them, it was the same, okay? In this truth, we're not looking for some um, stardom ship, meaning we're not looking to be uh, uh, America's, see if, an, um, how do you say it? America's got talent, okay? We're not looking for that. What we're looking to do is glorify, praise, exalt, and magnify the Heavenly Father's name and His Son's name and do that work unto the end in hopes that we're saved, Okay? So we don't got to worry about no major views, some box office views, okay? We don't got to worry about those things. Those things are of the world. Now, like I said, you have brothers that's been in this truth for quite some time, and they can relate. You know, even some of the brothers that's been in this truth for over 12 years, 15 years, you know, 17 years, uh, 10 years. I'm just giving you a, you know, aspect of, you know, a wider view of things. Some of them might put up videos, and the video is, is um, you know, nobody watches the video. A whole month passed by, and nobody even seen the video. You got to remember also, too, that there's videos being uploaded constantly from brothers, okay? Constantly, all the time, being uploaded, okay? And to keep up, to be able to keep up and, you know see all those videos it's like damn near virtually impossible okay so let's get into this video here 
and mainly you know this is going into the newer younger brothers in this truth who got a channel who's you know being occupied in this word being occupied in this work okay this is for them okay this is not for um you know the the, the older well you know they could watch it if they want to you know but this is mainly kind of to the younger brothers in this truth okay who's just coming in and they got a channel and they're worrying about views and you know is anybody watching their videos and this is just a um a, a faith and a, a faith booster okay so let me get into this uh video real quick um let's go to Syrac. chapter 2 and 10 classic one um Syrac 2 and 10 look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken on whom did he ever despise that called upon him okay and that's going into the brothers who are doing this work in all honesty truth and sincerity okay who have the fear of Yahweh Shem Yahushai upon them okay so when we're when we're in this work we know that, hey, trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Look at the generations that are old. Look at Abraham. Look at Isaac. Look at all, you know, Jacob. Look at all the acts that was written in these scriptures as well. Romans 15 and 4. Written a four time for our learning. Okay? Now, the Lord seeth your work. He's not going to be forgetful on your acts, the works that you do. He sees everything that you do. He sees everybody's actions. Okay? As a matter of fact, Let's go to Second Ezra to establish that. And we'll, we'll, you know, close out. Let's go from uh, Second Ezra chapter sixty-two to sixty-six. Yea, uh, yea, ye, uh, ye, and let's lock it. Yea. And the spirit of of Almighty God, which made which made all things, and searcheth out all hidden things in the secrets in the secrets of the earth, surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sins and will hide their sin. See, so the Lord he knows all hidden things. He made all things, okay? He positioned those things. He made the motion of the uh, uh, the constellation, all everything, okay? The motion of the 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 um ocean, okay? All things. So your works are not hidden from him, okay? And it goes on to say he knows your inventions, he knows your heart, meaning la'ab, your mind, okay? Uh, verse 34 or verse 64 therefore I have the Lord exactly searched searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame and when your sins are brought forth ye shall be ashamed before before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day okay so the Lord knoweth all your works man it's, it's easy it's an easy thing for him to search out all your works okay it's not hard for him he made you okay so going back into doing his work of course the lord sees your work okay of course the lord knows your work so when you're you know out in the highways and byways you do a camp video and nobody sees it it's okay the lord knows okay uh, Sirach chapter 23 and verse 19 Such a man only fear, feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes and knoweth not and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten are ten thousand times brighter than the sun beholding all all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts right so this, you can't hide from the Lord man you know, all these people out here who talk that smack about us, all those scoffers, scorners, K, 
okay? All those individuals who, you know, walk by the camp, look at us and, and make fun and, and laugh and all that stuff there, right? And think that we don't see it. Well, that's okay. The Lord sees it, okay? All your actions, all your doings, everything that you do, okay? You may think you're sly and slick and, uh, you know, you go into a store and, um, you know, somebody drops their purse and here it is. You have the perfect opportunity, like an Israelite woman, you know, you see her drop her purse, an old, old granny, as they say, or an old man, right? You don't know if that's his pension. You don't know if it, you don't know what, okay? And here it is. You have the perfect opportunity opportunity to do righteousness but yet what you what you do you turn around and take the man's wallet take the man's cash and, and, and flee out of there quick you even leave all the groceries <laughs> you know you even leave all the groceries or items that you want to purchase right there it's like oh shit my car it's gonna rain and you, you may god they out you know so the lord sees that man you think that nobody saw it Nobody in the store has can Oh, this store don't got cameras, you know. I'm out. Lord, see, see at all those actions, man. So there's no way you out this and that. Lord, see it then, okay? It's like, yeah, something's... Fucking Satan, spiritual demon, man. I go throw something out the window and then it flies right back in the car and right at my eyeballs, okay? <laughs> Ain't that a motherfucker? But anyways, let's go to another scripture. First John, chapter three, and verse twenty. First John, chapter three, and verse twenty. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Right, he knoweth all things, man. This, this Plain, straight, to the point. Okay? So there's no getting around the fact that, look, you're doing this in all honesty, truth, and sincerity. You're, you know, you know, working for your salvation, looking for that salvation, you know. You're doing all the things that you can do. Auntie Elba Shimmy Al Shai for the salvation. And you know, you might say to yourself, within the ob, within your mind, you say, "Man, nobody see my videos, and you know, man, look, hey, remember the scripture tell you that Simon, Simon, uh, the devil, Satan has required to sift you. So you might want to put up some prayers against, you know, those type of thoughts because those type of thoughts, you know, is used as a sifting agent." You know, fuller, the fuller, you know, like a soap, you know, or better yet, um, hydrogen peroxide. What does it do? It bubbles the shit to the cut, right? So you don't want to get caught up in that shit. You don't want to get brought to the surface by that spiritual demon Satan and get sifted out, right? Thinking nobody's seeing my views. Oh, I'm, I'm not important. I'm this, that, blah, blah, blah. Don't let those thoughts into your mind. Okay, let me go into another scripture. Colossians 3 and 25, But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respecter of persons. Right. So the Lord knows every action that we're committing out here. Okay. He knows everything that we're doing. All our actions are written. So for an individual out there to say, you know, God don't see us, there's no God, this, that, blah, 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 you know, they're of a retrograde mind, you already know that. But for you, individual that, you know, is coming to this truth now, just remember, all of our actions are weighed, right? All of our actions are, are basically um, written out. And if you're in this truth, doing this work, just remember, the Lord is giving you that work to do, Okay. Remember the scripture tell you that no man can come near me except if the heavenly father, you know, had drawn, right? Roughly phrasing. So you got to keep in your mind that, look, the Lord wants me in this truth. You know, he's giving me videos to do. He's giving me work to do. 
you know? And let's just say this too. Let's say you just put out two videos a day, every day. You go to camp and no views, no views, one view, two view, one view, two view. You got to worry about that, man. Because obviously you see that you're in the truth. Proverbs 26 and 11 didn't happen onto you, okay? You didn't walk back into the world, right? Like a dog that returneth onto his vomit, right? So a fool returneth onto his folly. You didn't return back into the world. So you should be uh, absolutely glad and blessed because Yahweh Bashim Shai is giving you work to do, okay? You're making videos. You're with the brotherhood, you know? You're up in the comment boards. You're chatting, you know? Don't worry about, you know, oh, my, my views, my views. Don't worry about that. Because ultimately, the Lord is giving you work to do. He's giving you a talent, half a talent, two talents, whatever it may be. We all got our lot, right? But for the most part, you're still receiving communication from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. In the way of doing the work, man. What do I mean by that? That communication? Not that, oh, God talks in my head and... You know, all that crap that these people in the world say. But no, you're receiving that inspiration through the Spirit. You know, you see a brother's video, you go, you know what, I'm going to add on to that. Bam, there's a video right there. Maybe later on, you know, you come back from work, you're sitting down, you're watching TV. You know, you got your phone in your hand and you just barely catch this commercial. Or you catch the commercial, you know, you see it once and you got your phone ready for it again, you catch it. You record it, and the next thing you know, you're like, yo, this is a video right here. I got to expound on this. I got to edify, you know. The Lord is giving you that spirit to do that. So the Lord is seeing that. And for whatever purpose, remember, your way is not my ways. Your, your thoughts not my thoughts. Whatever his purpose is for you, making those videos, right, and it not being seen or there's no video, you know, all of us are being tried and tested. So, yeah, it's a, it's a fight in the mind. It's a fight in the spirit, you know? You got to put off that weak nature and say, I don't care. You know, you you don't see my video. Okay, it's all right. The Lord sees my videos, man. You don't got to worry about 600 views, 1,000 views in one night, you know? Because a lot of times, hey, man, I put up one video about the food, food, food shortage, okay? And it was a short and I was actually in the supermarket. That's not from somebody else. That's me, okay? And when I had, within the first, I'd say like within the first um, night, it was like 200 or something like that. And then after that, it just jumped to 2K plus. So am I all excited? I'm like, yeah, look, I got 2K. Hey, no, that was the Lord magnifying that situation there and showing people real life, like, look, this is about to happen. And to all those 2K plus, it's like 3,000 plus, whatever. The numbers keep going up, but I'm not, you know. All those people that saw that video, that's either for, you know, their um, condemnation or that's for, uh, you know, them to, to wake up and result and hear the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and come out of that deep sleep that they're in. Right? Because here it is, they would see the, the short and then they would click on the subscription thing, right? You know, to the, the video thing to see. Well, let me see what this channel is holding. Then all of a sudden you see, hey, the Lord don't like this. His real name is this. The Lord's come back to destroy. Her. Wake up. Da 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 da. You know? Once you see that, you're like, wait. What? And that's all through the inspiration of the Most High. You know, they take a little click, a little listen. And then, you know, you all praise duty, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kodash, double honors to the apostle elders of Green Millstone. So there's a thing happening right now, you know. They, they, who's Yahweh? Who's Yahweh? Who's Yahweh Shai? What's this Baraka thumb? You know, and then all of a sudden, you st apostle elders of Green Millstone, who are they? You know, so the Lord starts drawing you in, right? So, you know, that's what our videos are here to do. We're not here to be some famous dudes. Okay, we have no fame. The Lord called Jacob a worm. Alright. Let's go into this um couple more scriptures here.
be all done with this one right here. Actually, there's like two more scriptures. I'm going to close out. I don't want to make this long. Hebrews chapter 10. Oh, Hebrews chapter 6 and 10. For God is not unrighteous to forget your, your work and labor of love. And who's going to be doing that? The ones that love their life not unto death. They're the ones who's going to be um, doing these things, okay? They're the ones who are going to be out here committing these righteous acts unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They're the ones who are going to be rehearsing the righteous acts unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, okay? Their works, you know, will, will bring them to salvation. And that's all through the Lord, right? So going back into this Hebrews 6 and 10, for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Which this is, you know, us going out in the highways and byways, us doing these videos, you know, us following these commandments, you know, remembering these things, doing these things to please the Heavenly Father. Because in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse uh, 6, if I'm not mistaken, it tells you without that, um, without that faith, it's impossible to please Him, okay? So, for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he have showed toward his name, in that he have ministered to the saints and do minister, right? And we're out there ministering. We're out there on the highways and byways. We're out there opening up our mouths onto each other and onto this world. We're not holding back, okay? And that's showing love because what the what does, what does the scripture say? First John, it tells you that doing these commandments keeping these commandments there's your love right right there okay keeping these things is is really how you love the most high keeping these commandments which are not grievous is the way that you love the most high okay sure we all go off right but let me put it like this if you're in a fight and you know you keep knocking down the individual he keeps getting back up right Keeps getting back up, keeps getting back up, keeps getting back up, keeps getting back up, keeps getting back up. Then the clock goes ding, you know. Well, he was a good opponent, right? He actually suffered and went through all of that stuff to receive, you know, a crown at the end of the uh, uh, of the fight. But you got an individual now who's in there, and the fifth time he knocked down, he says, "Fuck this, I'm out of here, man." Well, he ain't going to receive nothing. Everybody's going to give him the booze. Everybody's going to laugh at him. Everybody's going to be like, ah, fuck this guy, man. This guy's not a, a, a warrior. He's like, he, man, every time this guy fights, he gives up after two rounds. You know? Nobody ain't going to want to fuck with him. Okay? And in that, too, as well, he's not showing his passion. He's not showing his uh, devotion. Okay? Many men have crept down the wares. What the fuck are you here for? Why are you here training them? <laughs> you know? But that's in the same sense with um, making your videos and, you know, going through what you got to go through in this world to prove your labor of love to Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay? The Lord is going to put these things upon you. Right? And for what reason it is, the Lord knoweth. All right? Maybe it's to strengthen you a little bit over here. Like a wheel. Okay? My car wheel. I'm sitting in my car right now. Okay? If there was a weak link, you know, there goes the whole wheel, right? But now, the Lord said that, what well, when we come into this, he's going to try us on every angle. So what is he basically doing? He's making us strong on every angle. Every weak part of that uh, circle, every weak part of that is being fortified, is being made stronger, okay? By purging out all those things which are coming upon us, okay? right now like we're suffering so on top of that the young man who comes into his truth you have to endure those type of things as well because imagine a man comes into his truth learns it you know goes on the highways byways getting some views getting some views then all of a sudden no views no views like let's just say his video got cancelled his channel got you know uh you know, when the vo crabs called up and complained YouTube, <laughs> let's say his channel just got, bam, dismantled, okay? And he starts up two new channels. No no views on none of the channels. 
No views. He's reaching out to brothers, you know. No views, no views. Next thing you know, he falls out the truth. Well, that was your testing. That was the, the most high putting you through a test, okay, to see if you would even... I mean, if you can't even withstand that, what kind of judge are you going to be? Okay? That's why the Lord is testing us on every angle, even with this necessary evil, this wicked so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Okay? The Lord is testing us on every angle. Okay? And every check mark that we get and pass, it, it helps us to fortify more that circle and build more. And to be able to bring others also up because it's all the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 20. It's not me that's going to think what to say. is the Most High will put that, you know. And then what happened? Job chapter, what is that, 32 and 8? The inspiration of Most High? What happened? You know? So let's get into another scripture. Another two scriptures I'm going to close out. Let's go into Revelation you know, if you like this, if you love this word, you know, it tells you right here. Revelation chapter 12 and 11. And they, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Right? That's us. We don't love, well, it's like the Lord willing that we be of the elect. We don't love our life. In this in this society, okay, I had said that one time, and some uh, individual was like, "Oh no, you can't say that." I'm like, "Bro, that that what do you think the scripture? What do you think it's talking about?" We love this environment. We love this place. Micah chapter two and ten, man. But there was a scripture that just popped up in my mind. Slack, yeah. I see something here. Oops. Careful that coffin. Oh, Jeez, on breads. Purpose work, that one. Return to um. Trying to find the scripture here. Yep. Acts chapter 20 and verse 27, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost have made you overseer to feed the church of God which he have purchased with his own blood. Okay? Those individuals there who are overseeing, and who are part of the elect, okay, who the Lord has purchased with his own blood, okay, because he really and truly in this time, he's only here for the elect, okay, we can find that in various sets of scriptures, like Matthew chapter 24, the Lord will send his angels to gather his elect on the four corners of the wind, roughly phrasing, so this is, this is going back into uh, these individuals here, okay, the ones that overcame him, Esau, Edom, you know, this wicked society, okay, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, okay, and they love not their lives unto death. So if you're an individual putting up your videos, you know, don't worry, don't worry about that because the Lord already know you don't love this society. This society is a wicked and evil society, okay. There is no good within this society, man. Proverbs chapter, what, 29 and 16? When the wicked are multiplied, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, right? So you ain't got to worry about, oh, yo, I ain't get no views today, I ain't get no views. You know, probably this video that I put up won't get no views, okay? But the main point, the Lord seeth my works. I could give a rat's ass if I get five views, two views, per adventure, one view. I don't care, Okay? The only person that I care that, you know, is Yahweh Yahweh Shai, okay? To know that, hey, I'm doing this work. 
Because at the end of the year, day, and week, none of you can save me except for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and vice versa. Okay. You got you got to put your trust into Yahweh Hashem Yahweh not into men. At the end of the day, I can't save you. Okay. The other fellow, he can't save you. Okay. The only person who salvation is through is through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Okay. Now that may sound harsh, but it's the truth. So you, you know, you end up be worrying about this person seeing my video and that person seeing my video, you know. Just stick with the brothers who you know are doing the work. Be amounts, you know, learning and increasing, right? And that's it. You ain't got to worry about too much, man. Oh, somebody didn't see my video. I didn't get no views. I didn't get no views. Hey, man, you got works and faith? What does the scripture say? Second Esther chapter 9 and verse 7. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by his faith, where he have, whereby he have believed. Okay? So everybody that's going to be able to escape this impending doom to this place is going to escape by what? Their 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 faith, their works, okay? Their belief. Because having that faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh is what pleases Him. And like I said, He drawed you to save you. You were purchased with a price. You are bought with a price, okay? As a matter of fact, it tells you that in, um, not just here, but Tells you what right here. Uh, let's get it real quick. First Corinthians chapter six and verse twenty. For ye are for ye are bought, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify, glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are God's. Okay. So if He sent you to do this work, and you doing this work, don't worry about a view. Don't worry about a single view. Don't worry about fifty views. Don't worry about 600 views. Don't look at the next man and be like, oh, yeah. See, this guy's got views. How can I ain't get them? Don't worry about that, man. Okay? Whatever reason the Lord, you know, has your videos with no views or with a view or two views or six views or eight views. doesn't matter, man. All that's besides the point. And these videos are going to be temporal anyways because YouTube, the unicorn, all that shit is going to go down. To who you want to be seeing in your works is Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, your power, your savior, your salvation. Okay, that's who you want to be seeing these works, man. So, like I said, Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, seeth, don't worry about views. Okay, and with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rokha Kodash, double honor to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word, in all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Matthew chapter 23, uh, <laughs> Matthew chapter 24, and verse 13 to you all. Wa Abad Babal.